So I they so have I have, so many routes. I have a, I have a side question because you brought up like, and I I know <clears throat> obviously earlier I said Magneto, you said like Sinister and Apocalypse. Right. My thing is, I don't want to like deviate too far off subject, but do you think the Fox universe ruined those characters already to the point that Marvel couldn't redeem them and do them no. better? Dark, Dark, Phoenix, Dark, Phoenix, Dark Phoenix can be redeemed. Apocalypse yeah. could definitely be redeemed. Yeah. Magneto okay. Magneto wasn't done that bad in, no, he was, in the he Fox was, in the Fox universe. No. Um, Especially not in the new class. Not in the new class, yes, exactly. He was he was done mm -hmm. pretty actually pretty well in that in, Agreed. in that class. Okay. Uh is really Fox didn't really ruin a lot. It, just the storyline was got well, a little yeah. bit fucked. apocalypse was yeah. I mean apocalypse was a bit of blue blue Ivan News, man. Blue Ivan News was awful. I, that, awful. Gotta, and even I mean, Dark Phoenix wasn't like but you have to understand. Wasn't. You gotta understand. Like the first three X-Men movies, you get that you give them a pass. Yeah. Because they were just doing what they could do. Mm -hmm. right. By the time you got to Apocalypse, yeah, the MCU has already started. Started, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're they right. already are hitting, and they were, deep. and they were like, "Oh my God, what do we do?" Mm -hmm. So they tried really hard and failed really bad, and screwed up a character. I just, I just almost wonder if because we're hearing obviously X Men ninety seven, like the main villain there is supposed to be sinister. So I'm like, I don't think they're going to do it in animation and in live action. So I'm like, that to me almost puts Sinister out. And I hate to say it that way because I think Sinister would be cool in live action. Mm. But I almost think that puts him on the out for live action. So then to me, I'm like, yeah. now we're recycling. And I worry that if we recycle, it's just going to be like... They whatever. need to stay. You know they need I mean? to stay far away from Dark Phoenix. I for, agree. for a long time. I kind of agree. I would stay away from Phoenix. They I, have I don't, to. I don't like it. I don't like. I don't like them doing it again. Apocalypse, I, think, I could rock with. They could redeem Apocalypse. I agree. You know what? You know that. what though too. And like this is kind of like a weird one off. But I said it before. Like they could do Nimrod. Like they could definitely pull off. Like it might not be the yeah. biggest of bads, but they could pull off Nimrod. Like why can't they? Why not? Yeah, you're right. Dude, dude was I a mean, weirdo. I think the, the 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 one thing is, based on the current timeline, we we have to wrap up Kang in a way that's smart and doesn't seem awkward. Yes. And and that right now is, you know, kind of got to be the focus because we started this thing, Loki was a massive hit, and now we have to figure out now that we've lost Jonathan Majors, uh -huh. um, how do we resolve the Kang thing, mm -hmm. uh, and then transform that character into something else that will naturally lead to wherever else we're going. The X-Men, as far as, you know, my thinking is going to kind of be its own universe. And until you get to a point where, you know, um, you, the, there's some type of convergence, I just don't think that, you know, those two universes will really touch. They'll mm -hmm. be their own timelines and whatnot. It's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah. I um I do think the Kang thing is interesting because Marvel really could go both ways because do you think about the end of Loki mm -hmm. he's just with the tree where's Kang um Ant-Man he Kang got beat by ants Loki season 1 he got stabbed so like they really it, it all depend it's all up to Disney at this point about what they're going to do with that they could they could there's that whole thing about him turning into the beyonder uh, you know, they can make other variants, all whatever, whatever it is. But it's like, gonna, I it's gonna happen on screen. Yeah, I, I <laughs> personally, I personally think that it's it's got to be Doom. Like, I just think, yeah, I, I think he's the answer. Going I, to the Secret Wars, God Emperor Doom. Look, Council me, of Kings, they're gonna write a letter to the Avengers, like, yo, we were thinking about coming to cake your asses, but, but, fast. but we, we changed our mind. Yeah. You know what? We just gonna drink lemonade instead. So yeah, yeah I'll be good. <laughs> and the thing is, is that if they bring in Doom, I, bro, they 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 need time. I need Doom. That character over, needs a build. I need he Doom does. over two to three phases. I, I yeah, he has. I can't, to. I can't yeah. see that I in one fucking see. phase. I can't mm -hmm. see that in one phase. Well, they, need take, they need to take Secret Wars and do it in twenty thirty. Then yeah, that's, that's what they it, need it, to it, do. It, it, Whatever. They can't do Galactus. They can't do uh, Doom in one phase. You can't oh, to give them respect to the for those characters alone. You can't do them in one phase. You can't. But we're already, yeah, they're already saying that all the rumor mills are saying that we're, this is what we're gonna get: Galactus, Silver Surfer, and Doom in one fucking movie. So well, you're trying to you're trying to throw the kitchen sink at fucking well, Fantastic Four right now. I do think that Doom will be in Fantastic Four, but I think he will have a Thanos appearance at the end yeah. and be like, "Oh, 
what like oh by the way i'm here like some stupid i mean you know, some doctor some, something, something latveria you know, motherfucker latveria <laughs> they, they pull up on the castle and yeah. just be the shot and like it could be him from behind like grabbing the mask and then you know bringing it you know behind the joint i, I don't know i don't know if y'all do that i want my money <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, i can't sent it over to us send um, it <laughs> but i'm just saying like it could be done like you know fine i'll do it myself killer line and I I lost my mind in the theater when I watched him do that. Mm-hmm. I was like, finally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the thing I, is, it's also consequences. Yeah, uh-huh. that's the that's the biggest. Thanos had so many consequences. Mm-hmm. Yep. If, if anybody can match him, his, if anybody can match his consequencing, it's doom. doom. It'll be doom. Definitely doom. I would. Agree. Galactus will be fucking even better. Galactus yeah. could. Yeah, but like, Galactus but, doesn't ever really. He doesn't eat the earth. <clears throat> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, but, yeah, but you don't really ever eat the earth. Know. Like that's what he comes for. Okay, like, so if if he it, gets it, like it, a it, really big nacho planet yeah. with some hot sauce, and then I, I think he goes scoop that, out of ocean. Like what, what was that? <laughs> I, I think I think that bringing Galactus kind of bridges a couple of things. It does bridge Doctor Doom because there is a story with Doom and Galactus. Mm-hmm. It right. does bring in the Eternals because. Mm-hmm. We so know for a fact that it brings them back. involved in that. Um, and, and even more important, it uh, allows the story at this at this point, Marvel's in space. Uh-huh. So to try to bring the stories back to Earth at this point, the stories are not big enough. It means doing a crazy action movie on Earth, which at this point they won't do. They won't. They won't go that far. You're not going to get John Wick in the MCU type of stuff. Um, you can only get that in space because any, you know, as far as we're concerned, anything can happen in space, and you can do whatever, and you can shoot people with lasers. On Earth, you have to do more Captain America type stuff that has to be hand to hand combat and guns and bullets and all of that. And it's just, staircase, bro. It's just not going to be big enough. No, but the thing is, is also the, the thing is we we're we're moving into a, a darker phase of the MCU. We're moving into a more adult phase into the MCU because so. we're getting Wolverine and Deadpool. They took the so once, it, once they took so, the so once this movie hits the Billy, which it will, the Billy, at least the a Billy. This movie, billion? Might, this movie might hit two Billy. I'm not one point nine I'm just, billion I'm dollars. Just, I'm just saying, once I'm this movie set. It, once this movie hits that Billy, and then we get the blade that we deserve, that we deserve. It, it, it's it's because that's the way you have to go with certain characters, and hopefully, with the Deadpool franchise being great before it came to Disney, hopefully, it will carry on to every other aspect of Disney, with especially with the Midnight Sun. Dude, they might throw something in Deadpool that we're not even thinking of. We might get the vil- we might get the overarching villain in Deadpool, and they just might throw that in there somewhere, and we yeah. won't even you know what I mean. Like <laughs> they could really hit us in the face with that. <laughs> they can ex- they can introduce any number of mutants at that point. Shit, in time they put the they, they put the comic book down in the freaking trailer. I mean, Jesus, I mean they're, they're obviously I'm thinking just, about I'm it. I'm just trying to think about like who haven't we got and to this point? Like we basically said, like the only oh, other name right. I could think of is like Emma Frost. Yeah, we but, like, we got an Emma. Yeah, she's we not. Emma yeah, she's not. Even, I mean, I mean, listen. We first of all, I, I I absolutely am disgusted what they did with um, the Mandarin. Like that was just embarrassing. Yeah, that was, that was just, embarrassing. I, like, I hated I was, Iron Man three. Oh, that I, yo, that that's the one thing that made me hate Iron Man three. The I most. hated Iron Man three. I, I could not believe they did that. Trevor's uh, Trevor Lattery. Lattery, though, though I did like him. Mm. The, the, no, that's my guy. But I, I hated I, what he represented. I, yeah, I'm like, come on, dude, you did a good I, thing I, in Shang Chi, though. That that was <laughs> that was yeah, funny. That was, that was <laughs> terrible. Um, uh, they can't really go wrong with anybody that they choose, but they. You have to stick to the story, and you got to get ahead for the dirt. You got to go in for the blood. You can't play it soft. I understand you want to make these middle of the road family movies that everybody can come see, but the truth of the matter is everybody can't see. When you pick up these comics individually and you read them, the Avengers, the Hulk, your X Men, you know there's different levels of reading. There's different levels of of drama. There's different levels of interactivity. You know some of these. One of the reasons the Eternals was never 
really a, a, a main read for most readers is because of the level of action, the amount of uh, uh, characters involved in the story was just not for the general reader. And unlike, that's why it's so short. That's why it's so unlike, short in the movie theaters because everybody said, oh, I'm getting, uh, I don't know nothing about these characters. It's way too complicated. You, it, you don't know, if you don't know the story, you're not gonna. It, it, it's way it. too complicated. Unlike the Hulk, which, you know, again, yeah. We got we wait for them to turn green and smash shit everywhere. That's that that's easy to digest. Or get some mama wana. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or and do some yoga. <laughs> so you know it was so, hot Pilates, okay? <laughs> <laughs> While having mama wana. It was goat yoga. Yeah, goat goat yoga. yoga. <laughs> so you know, we, we, we just they, they they have to they have to Put the, the appropriate stuff. Guardians of the Galaxy was genius because it gave you some of everything, and those were more family oriented movies than anything else in the Marvel universe, pretty much. Oh, and also fuck Star Lord. <laughs> Jesus, man. What did what did Chris Pratt do? Did you know, you won? We, lo- we lost. The we lost because of Chris Pratt. We, lo- we, we lost. We lost Star Lord. It's all oh, good. facts. Yeah, you're not wrong. We did. We did. It's all good. That's all Star Lord. <laughs> But he did call him nutsack, Jen. So he you know. did. Did he call him yeah. Grimace too, or Grimace. was that someone else? Yeah, he Grimace. called him Grimace. Grimace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but still, we lost because of him. We almost had it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you got to blame. All right. Him. Any um, any last thoughts? I just, I just, one final thought to what Chase said. I need those interviews that popped off where people were saying they didn't read <laughs> books. They didn't read books before they did comic book movies. Boy, mm. I I'm need to, Kevin Feige. I'm about to, to, I'm about to turn I, green. I, I need. I need. Ke- <laughs> listen. I want Kevin Feige to put a mandate in place that if you haven't read a book before, and I'm going to hire you, I need you to read a couple. Because if not, I don't want you working on the fucking movie because you're not yeah. invested. Literally. So like, I'm done yeah. with like the whole. Thor's a fucking space billionaire and fucking like I'm over all the, I'm I'm over all the bullshit that comes out of people's mouths. Yeah, totally stock TV. money, bro. Like I, I just I can't like I need people to pick up a book. I, I don't read comics like that, but I know enough to know how the character should be. You know, and you like, know Aaron, Aaron, don't insult was... my intelligence by telling me, oh, I never picked up a comic in my life, but Thor, you know, he he sat on a throne in space and fucking scratched his nuts. No, he didn't. That's not but fucking the, reality. The thing is, <laughs> the thing is, you're working for the, the thing is that you're working for fucking Disney. Right. They have this on back. You don't have to pay for it. Nope. They have it. It's in the it's in the archives. Go read. It's all in, all in the fucking archives. No, you can get it digitally now. Every fucking book is digital now. Yeah, that's yeah. Disney. And, Sunday. Get you the actual book. They the, can get you it, the book. Listen, the, the the issue for me is you cannot build your empire and within an empire that's already been built, been written. Stop trying to go in there and and make your own left and rights on a story that just is straight ahead a winner. I mean, they're they, they're, they're gonna, bro. It's it is so man, it's, it's dude. That's how we got God the God Butcher, Gore the God Butcher. Yeah, but that's how you got. But that's also how you got, got the Gore Butcher, the the <laughs> Infinity War and and the End Game that we got. It's not the. But story, those people read the the people. Those people read the book. Gore the creep. It was all the people. It was the people in that interview. The the, the the people in that interview were all from Phase Four. That's a gore the creepy uncle ice cream man driver. <laughs> ice cream man, <laughs> fuck, man. Man. <laughs> man was like, "Come on, kid, he's getting the cage." Get in the cage. <laughs> what the fuck are you he's sitting crisscross applesauce in a dark ass cave with a bunch of kids. <laughs> with a bunch of children, he looks like you like a pervert. Come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> man. Gore, Gore he should, be, uncle, you don't he should have been on the villains kids. list, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he should have been on the fucking villains list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's a uh, mm-hmm. dude because it's it, it's the thing is. Like to well, Aaron, and Chase, Aaron and Chase, point, Chase's point, you have to, if you don't, if you're just doing this for a check, Kevin Feige and and Mr. Bob has to fucking take care of house. Agreed. If you don't read the fucking book, you don't read the content, you don't know the content, don't put your fucking spin on it, don't put your fucking stupid ass hands on the comics because this just, is what's going to happen to you you're going to get chewed the fuck out i, I don't so i don't know I don't, I don't know how hard it is to say this is the direction we want to go with character xyz they played that role in comics xyz pick up a couple and 
and make it based off of that and you can boot some creativity but within fucking reason tell the story of this way. it's not hard you know what i'm saying but instead kevin feige let too much free reign on some of these directors no and quality it was just like, you got what you got like it was you know you you got bad results for some projects is yep. what it is you gotta fucking poor, poor interviewing shit. skills i like yep Either that, or I just think again, spread too thin. But we, but we also, much, but we know, also like, did, we did, we did get a, we did get some, some, sh some shining great starlight great. out of, out of uh, Miss, uh, Miss Marvel. Of course, the, I say that all the time. Good. She is fucking yeah, but, golden yeah, to yeah, fucking that's Marvel. A, but that's a, that's somebody who reads the. Books. She, she reads the books. Yeah. She reads and the books more than the people who directed her she show and read movie it, did. And she doesn't read the she doesn't read the book because <laughs> she had a job to do. She reads the books because she just she like, loves this shit. Books. I said you could give me a hundred Amon Valanis in mm. Marvel playing different roles, and I would be thrilled. But that's yeah, never going to be the case because obviously just, you're going to you know because for every Amon Valani. You're not going to sit here and tell me Chris Evans picked up a Captain America book. He didn't. He just understood what his role was. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. I, I think sometimes the, the, the role fits the person, but you just kind of understand. Like, I think if you're smart, you're like, this is how I should play the role. Okay, cool. Go about it. This is how I should write the role. Okay, cool. Let's go. No, I think it. he read some books, bro. Maybe yeah. he did, but like, he's, also, he's, he's, we, he's we also a couple have, of comic characters. So I think know, he's we, read some books. Maybe, we, we, we have three. three I, so for my. From my point of view, my point of we have three think people in Marvel that actually like to read books is Hugh Jackman, Miss Marvel, and um, uh, Superman. Um, uh, what's his name? Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. Henry. These are people he's that no are no longer fucking, Superman. Well, yeah, he, he but either no way, he's a, but he either way, he's a freaking Captain nerd. Now. Captain Britain. Sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the news for Thursday, bro. It's okay. This is gonna go out after that. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So either way, you know what I mean. You have people that are out here that actually like to get a paycheck and like people want people to like their roles as they portray them. Agreed. So we just Marvel has done a great job casting. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but we Stuff need to more. get quality control. Like everybody say, we need to have that quality control here. These are the books that you're going to be doing. These are the books you're going to be portraying. You don't read this, get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. I agree. And then you drill them and ask them questions about it. Just like a job interview. Oh, what happened in fucking the, the third page? If somebody, all you do is reading bubbles, bro. <laughs> it's not fucking hard. <laughs> if somebody doesn't read Secret Wars, I'm going to be really fucking pissed. Oh. Oh, I know. I'm going to be really pissed. Because this, you can't, if, if we get War. creative direction on Secret Wars, I'm going to be so fucking out, you have no idea. <laughs> Secret Wars, is, Secret Wars is all about people running around going. Hey, <laughs> it's a secret. And then we just get two seconds of Tom Holland doing the fucking. Look, I'm in a black suit. The whole the whole movie is gonna be that Gotta scene be from yeah. the other guys where they're fighting at the funeral, and they're that's that's gonna be the whole movie. It's, it's gonna the be the whole movie. movie. It's the whole movie. God, all right. Well, yeah. oh, go ahead, Leo. Uh, no, I was just saying it. That would be the end of Marvel if they fuck up. Secret Wars I think I think up. they know that at this point. Like they're they seem to be paying a little bit more attention. Like I think they're starting yeah. to realize like we will leave. Like we will listen, freaking go. Bro, listen to me. Anybody that can't make a hit movie with Samuel Jackson is fucking up. It's a problem. Like that's not like that's not even hard to do. What movie? Hold, movie hold my beer, Secret about? Wars. <laughs> Uh, Secret, Secret Invasion, Secret invasion. yeah. Hold my beer. Hold That's my beer. Show. Secret Invasion. <laughs> that was a show. That was a show. It, yeah, it was. It was it, called. It was called the show. We need. We need. We need to have. Uh, like everybody's saying, we're just reiterating everything. We do need to have quality control in Marvel because mm -hmm. the last thing I want to do is end up like the DC, and I don't uh -huh. want uh, don't DC. Care. Don't, don't care. Don't care. I don't want to end up. I don't want to end up like them. Uh, Marvel elsewhere. And thank God that they're they're actually doing it right and bringing everything back into the homestead, and we have control of everything now. But welcome to another Marvel eight three eight story. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> we have we have everything. Doesn't back really to happen, but you know. But you're, you're fucking up when you're not making another fucking Hulk. That's that's that's, that's a loss, man. That's a big time yeah. loss. But you know. yeah, lost, I mean, look, look, wait, 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 wait. Back to the the whole premise of the thing. Who could be a better villain than Thanos? 
freaking World War Hulk. War, 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 yeah, War Breaker Hulk. World Breaker Hulk. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, what? Yeah. what? World Breaker Hulk. That could work. Maestro. Yeah. Maestro. 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 Could be a better uh, villain. I, I think the issue for him is that if you if you make if you make them if you make a character bigger than Thanos. At some point, you have to understand that this thing has to end. And then what happens to all of the smaller characters in between those two? Because if a, a Thanos starts it, then one of these big uh, bads have to end it. And then everybody else is supposed to fall in the middle. If the big bad at the end happens too early, then there's no more culmination for any of the other smaller big bads. Look, man, Bye. he's he's back wrestling. All the little guys know your role and shut your mouth. That's right. Just let the, <laughs> let the big dogs play. <clears throat> right. But by the by the way, uh, shooters got to shoot. Um, speaking of Maestro, <laughs> um, XM Studios. If you happen to have another Maestro statue, like oh. in reserve, and you want to like send it to us to review, I'll shoot my shot. <laughs> like, <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. I mean, please. That, just saying. Yeah, yeah that. that would be nice. <laughs> We'll leave the description for the statue in the, <laughs> the, the, the link in the description. Link in the description for the statue the below. Check that out. Link in the description below. I would love to do a product review. Just so yeah, you know. nice. Definitely. We, we do uh, unboxings. We, we, we do yeah, unboxings. Yeah, we're we're good with that. Print it yeah, out. We, do, anyway. we just did a Jack in the Box uh, trailer reaction. Stop, stop, look at. Okay. All right, no, I'm just kidding. Stop, stop. Um, all right, man. well, that uh, that'll that'll about do it, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. What do you think the MCU should do? What is the direction they should take with the villains? Who could possibly be better than Thanos? And do we even have enough time to do it? Let us know in the comments section below. And also the uh, the video we were playing in the background, uh, we found. Uh, please go to his YouTube page. He's got some great stuff. It's uh, Ilya, Ilya TS. Uh, we're going to put the, the, the link in the description below. Um, awesome trailer. Um, so cool. glad we got to use that. Uh, from myself, Wendizia, Aaron, Leo, and Big Chase, Man Cave 101 Podcast. Like, comment, subscribe, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Kick Rumble. <gasps> Live every Thursday for your nerdy beats, baby. Take care. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Live on Instagram. Yeah.